Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we have a special motherboard to show you guys and to help describe this motherboard, we have JJ, a special guest from ASUS. And uh, thank you very much for coming by today, JJ. Thank you. And this is the ASUS Rampage 3 Black Edition motherboard. It is an X58 chipset based motherboard, socket 1366. And uh, we can describe this as the top of the line, best of the best, X58 motherboard that ASUS has to offer and they have wedged just about every possible feature and special goodness that can possibly be wedged onto a motherboard, in my opinion, onto this one. Uh, so without further ado, uh, JJ knows best about this motherboard, so I'm going to ask him to give us a once over and point out the special features and uh, that, that have been integrated here. But, but, but first off, a quick point. Um, this motherboard unfortunately does not come with a Core i7-990X installed, um, that, that's, just, that's just there. But if you're going to buy this motherboard, that is the recommended processor to go with. That would definitely be it. As you noted, uh, this is pretty much the flagship product for us right now in terms of the ROG product line. Uh, the Rampage series has really been just uh, always about pushing the envelope in terms about design, performance, innovative functionality, connectivity, you know, about everything that we can really do to push the motherboard industry further in terms of what we're doing with the design aesthetic, the functionality, and the performance of the product. Now, we've uh, gone through a couple of different generations of Rampage um, Extreme Series motherboards for 1366. It started off with the really well-received award-winning Rampage 2 Extreme, then we went to Rampage 3 Extreme, and now we're going to the Rampage 3 Black Edition. And this has continued to be a, a, a product that's taken on each one of those generations and all the refined points that we've collected back from the users, from media, and the extreme enthusiasts that we work with, uh, work with throughout the world. Um, so this is really kind of a culmination point for us where we said we want to be able to take all our experience, all our kind of ingenuity, and bridge it into the board. But we also didn't want to restrict it. It's not just for the extreme crazy overclockers in the world that are looking about working, uh, breaking world records. It's about the extreme diehard enthusiast that really loves to have all the connectivity and the performance that they want from a system, even if it's only running at stock operation. So that's what we're going to see hallmarked through here as we go throughout the board. So first and foremost, we continue the kind of precedence that we set before with the previous Rampage series boards, which was a digital VRM. So we have that extreme end and digi design, which allows us to really get the highest level of performance and efficiency and, and overall quality power delivery when we're talking about working with our 1366 CPUs, whether they're running at stock or whether you're overclocking. We can see here we've of course got the aggressive centered heat pipe that's uh, going over our north bridge as well as our actual VRM to help us go ahead and effectively dissipate the heat. Now as you move over that board you can also see some of the hallmarks of the high performance VRM. We have the super alloy chokes here which are high amperage rated chokes which are designed for a high level of power delivery to the CPU. We have an NEC uh, prodigalizer here which is directly next to the CPU socket and that's been specifically done from a performance oriented perspective. This essentially serves the same function as a, a lot of capacitors and so it forms a little reservoir of current and what happens is when you overclock the system and you get to these higher and higher speeds you need a point, you need one of these guys to essentially be that reservoir so that that voltage and that current can be instantaneously supplied at those higher levels to be able to maintain performance and the overall stability of the platform. And that's uh, been a hallmark of the Extreme series and we continue to, to, to do that here of course on the Black Edition. Now looking at the rest of the board, um, First and foremost, you can kind of see a general aesthetic is that we've gone with a full matte black PCB as opposed to a gloss based PCB. So it gives it that black edition vibe, That's right? Very nice. Yeah. yeah. And, and then the next option is, of course, is just the, the, really the sexiness that is all this PCIe connectivity. <laughs> this is awesome in terms of um, you still have that high PCIe bandwidth that X58 affords you, right? But you've got the dual slot spacing, um, you know, and you also have the ability to go ahead and do three-way without overhang as well. So you've got a lot of connectivity available here. But looking at some of the other points that we have available, we've gone ahead and introduced front USB 3 connector with the right angle to also go ahead and keep clean profiling with the cable connections along with the right angle connectivity for the serial ATA. This Marvel interconnect is also a special by 4 Marvel interconnect which is designed for a higher level of performance than your normal generation um, you know, secondary add-on controllers independent of the normal SATA 2 or 300 megabyte, 300 megabyte standard as opposed to the 600 SATA 3 standard that we have here. 
Now, if we move over to the back I.O. on the board, one of the things that really sets this board apart is not just being focused at extreme enthusiasts, but general users, hardcore gamers, is a lot of connectivity options. So we've got normal USB 2 here, we've got PS2 for the, for the gaming crowd, but then we also introduce Bluetooth 3.0, which is the latest Bluetooth high-speed standard. So this is going to work really well with the latest generation of smartphones that have Bluetooth 3.0, so that you can go ahead and take that 720p or sometimes even 1080p video, photos, documents, all that stuff, and have a really quick access in terms of transferring those files over. Plus it serves as also just a general connection for like keyboards, mice, headsets, things like that. We then also give you dual band Wi-Fi that's available to you here. So you can go ahead and connect to wireless networks. So that's 2.4 and 5 And 5 gigahertz. gigahertz, yeah. So then you also have your, uh, excuse me, your, um, your additional two USB 2 ports. Got USB 3 here two eSATA ports. We have our ROG Connect port, which is, of course, to give us external functionality for remote overclocking, monitoring, post-monitoring, and a whole other range of functions available to you on you know, notebooks, uh, desktops, uh, netbooks, uh, a number of different external USB-enabled PCs. Another set of two USB ports, we have Gigabit Intel Ethernet LAN. So we're giving you the highest level of quality in terms of internet connectivity. And then you have your normal HD audio connection. Now something that's a little bit different, if you want to go ahead and just rest that guy down here, is we have something that's unique to the Black Edition series. And this is our Thunderbolt module. So this is something that we've been designing internally for quite some time. And this was based on the feedback of a lot of high-end gamers and enthusiasts that wanted to get much better sound quality than was offered normally by even the high quality codecs that we're using on the motherboard. So here our Zonar team, uh, which has a real long history of producing some really high end quality sound cards, said we're gonna go ahead and design an actual um, sound card that's specifically catered towards gamers. So one, that means that we have actually a special set of software that's lean, it's aggressive, so it's not bloated, um, but it also has customized profiles for like FPS, RTS, uh, for racing games, for a number of different types of games. In addition to that, there's an integrated headphone amplifier in here. So users that have high performance headsets get the best quality in terms of not only driving strength, volume range, dynamic range, things along those lines. Now, this serves as actually a USB DAC. So actually all you would do to connect the sound card is you, there's a USB loopback cable that connects from here to a USB port that's available on the motherboard and you would have that sound. But the, this PCIe connection is actually for this secondary network connection. And this is actually for uh, Killer Nick's brand new E2100 series um, Killer Nick network card. And what this allows you to do is have a, a, a dedicated networking port um, as well as a, actually an MPU, a network processing unit, that's specifically catered towards gamers. So it's designed to optimize and improve latency as well as improve throughput for any type of online gaming activities. And you get the Bigfoot killer software along with that as well? That's correct. And that software's also been uh, customized uh, with the ROG team to go ahead and get the best performance. And we've gone ahead and also used an external module for a couple of different reasons. One, you're going to get better PCIe performance by having it be as a dedicated module the same way that killer cells uh, their killer E2100 if you were to buy it separately. Um, so that's one, one advantage. But also in addition to that is, is that we also minimize any type of noise that might exist directly on the motherboard by moving it directly to an isolated card so we get the best sound performance as well. Now the benefit for the long term is if a user decides that they want to upgrade later down the road after working from a powerhouse board to this to maybe the next generation of a Rampage series product, they could go ahead and migrate this Thunderbolt module from this board to that next generation product. So in a way you're able to take a lot of the value that you're paying for here and be able to transplant it to your next generation system. So that's, that's a definite nice plus. But we're also really happy that we're not pigeonholing you to having to use one or the other. Uh, there are some other boards out there that are now introducing killer Nick functionality, but we realize that some users are gonna appreciate the quality and the performance and the driver from Intel, um, and some are gonna appreciate killer Nick's functionality. But we wanna ultimately give you, the gamer, the choice in terms of picking what works best for you. So you have that flexibility available to you. Um, in addition to that, something that you can't actively see here on the board is what we call our brand new Black Edition BIOS. Um, this has been a specially designed BIOS that has been fine-tuned by two key guys on our ROG development team. One was uh, previously the number one world record uh, overclocker in the world, Andre Yang, along with uh, Shamio Peter Tan, who's uh, now part of our development team. And they spent a lot of time tweaking and tuning the BIOS to have special new, what are called sweet spot options, where the user can now go in there, and a lot of times they don't necessarily know what are the right ranges, what are the right options to define, and they can go into the BIOS, and actually under certain values, you'll see an option that says sweet spot. 
and they can just go ahead and select that sweet spot and the board's going to auto configure those parameters to whatever adjustments they make allowing them to go ahead and get real easy high level overclocks but without necessarily having to understand a lot of the extensive minutia that can occur um, with a real enthusiast board like this that has so many options available for overclocking. I like the naming convention too. Yeah, yeah, well we, we want to make it easy and accessible. I mean, in addition to that, of course, you have the normal hallmarks of what an ROG board is always about, right? Which is giving you a lot of customization and connectivity options. So we, of course, got um, a huge amount of PWM fan controls available to you on the motherboard. In addition to those fan controls, we also are still maintaining the ability to go ahead and have the optional temp sensors so that you can go ahead and do monitoring for different points on the system, whether it's on the board, whether it's on your chassis, whether it's on a video card, it's up to you. Uh, you have your standard voltage read points for having hardware level accuracy when overclocking. You've got your debug LED display. Um, we also are giving you these PCIe switches. So for users that are doing troubleshooting or bench or guys that are doing benches uh, with using multiple GPUs, you can quickly and easily kind of go ahead and adjust one of these to disable or enable one of these PCIe slots. So you can quickly and effectively go ahead and break down from one GPU to another to another or go from one to all the way to four. It's really up to you. Um, and from a diagnostic parameter, you would have um, the post-process user as, either as reported by ROG Connect or via QLED, uh, which is a LED system on the board, let you know that, oh, maybe this slot is having a problem, right? And you can go ahead and just turn that off, see if your system posts or boots correctly, and you'd be off to the races in terms of getting your system back up and running. So there's, a, there's really a huge amount of design effort that's gone into this board in terms of really giving you the best performance that's available, because as of right now, X58 is still the only platform that's available that's giving you 12 core processor support. So for users that are really looking for a high level of performance um, and, and high level of multi-threading and also um, high dim ratio support in terms of being able to run you know, 16, 20, 24 gig, um, gigabytes worth of memory, this is the platform still to work on. All righty, and uh, is that going to wrap it up? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, there's definitely, of course, always more, and uh, you guys can always check us out, you know, at asus.com or our asusrog.com forums where we have extensive breakdowns on the board's design and its features and functions. But that gives you a little bit of an idea about what the Black Edition is bringing to the table. Excellent. Thank you very much, JJ, for all of that information. Once again, guys, this has been the Asus Rampage 3 Black Edition X58 motherboard. Uh, for JJ and uh, for JJ from Asus and Paul from Newegg, thanks a lot for watching. If you like, enjoyed today's video, please subscribe to our Newegg TV YouTube channel, and uh, we'll see you all next time on Newegg TV.